This is kvci.blogspot.com, George Boston Rands. It was indeed a historic event. Friday, February 24th, 25th, and 26th. In Quitman, Georgia, the county of Brooks, and in the state of Georgia. Gabio held its annual winter conference, Living the Dream and Save the Voting Rights Act. The hosts, the equipment 10 plus 2, a change movement. Headquarters was out of Shoemate Street, Church of Christ. That's 301 Shoemate Street. Quitman, Georgia, 31643. We had a welcome reception on Friday, February 24th. Saturday, February 25th, registration was at 8 o'clock. And at noon was a beautiful luncheon, which we have just finished. We also heard the keynote speaker, Reverend Dr. Joseph Lowry, recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom Award given by President Barack Obama. Now, we all met at Shoemate Church with nearly 500 people in attendance. And we also issued a resolution, Georgia Association of Black, Black Elected Officials Honoring the life and memory of Senator Robert Lofton Brown. And we all know that Representative Tyrone Brooks, Representative David Lucas, Sister Helen Butler, and others, along with Senator Brown, came to Brooks County, but were ignored by the South Georgia news media outlets. However, I, George Boston Rines, recorded these trips and I will ensure that they are maintained in the historical archival records forever because I do not believe that our history should be ignored nor buried beneath the rubbish pile like the legend concerning the ostrich bird. Prior to going into the march, I want to tell you and your children that where we assembled in Quitman, the Shoemate Street Church of Christ was not always Shoemate Church of Christ. Very few people, in fact, I don't know if anybody gave words to the grounds in which we all sat on that day at Shoemate Church. If somebody would have asked me, I would have told them that they are sitting on the ground where all the children of Brooks County went to Booker T. Washington Elementary School, an all-black segregated school. And just a few feet over from that school was Washington Street High School. By the way, that's the school you're looking at. But if nobody tell you about that history, you'll never know. So Reverend Joseph Lowry, Representative Tyrone Brooks, members of the National Action Network, the SCLC, Mostella, NAACP President Edward DuBose, the People's Agenda, and others, the union representatives, all sat on a historical lot. Yet, we have a habit of ignoring our past. But Brother Ryan's don't want it 
to be forgotten. And so before we go further, I want to take a minute to honor all the educators, the principals, Mr. Robert C. Marshall of Washington Street High School, and all of the educators that guided us along the way. I want to give honor to Mr. Calvin Rutherford, I believe his name was, for the majority of the existence of Booker T. Washington as far back as I can collect. As far back as I can recollect. And all those educators, not only that, the little small country schools that we received our education prior to going to Booker T. or Washington Street, we were on that spot. Reverend Joseph Lowry came to that spot, yet nobody asked me to tell them the history. Robert C. Marshall, I didn't see him at the event, but his memories, the work of his hand was instilled in many of us in attendance. And so I'm going to close this out now. But I just wanted you to know that the dirt that holds up Shoemate Street Church of Christ did not always belong to Shoemate Street Church of Christ. That ground held us up when we had hand-me-down books from the white schools. And if you notice, they talked about busing. They bus many of us right past the white school to come to the all black school. They bus many whites right past the black school to go to the all white schools and nobody said nothing about big government or small government using or wasting up money. So I'm gonna leave you now. And we're going to get to the major focus of this video. But before we go into the march in Quitman, Georgia, all in support of the Quitman 10, that were arrested December the 21st. <laughs> For alleged voter fraud. Have mercy, Jesus. Let me close by saying this. It has always been about our children. And it will continue to be about our children. Black African American children and poor white children and other human beings that God allowed to come to their mother's womb are all entitled to equal access to education opportunities and job placement. And so, we want you to join the people who joined us in a march in support of the Quitman 10. And I have tried to do my best to keep you informed because you deserve no less. So on behalf of Gabio, the SCLC, the NAACP, the National Action Network, the People's Agenda, the unions, and everybody that took part. We commend you and we thank you for joining with us. But the Booker T. Washington Elementary School and Washington Street High School, we salute you because you care then about our children, all of the educators. You did your job for us. Now it's our time to do our part for our children. And so, we are getting ready to march, but we are marching for our children voting rights and the right to be respected as human beings and the right to have their news reported to the general public and not buried beneath the rubbish pile. 
And I want to say this at this juncture, we need to erect, I've been saying it for the last 25, 30 years, we need to erect a historical marker to both of these schools so our great-great-grandchildren would know that we passed this way. The Confederates, the concerns of the Confederacy, they put their markers out. So what's wrong with us? And now, let's get to the continuation of those educators who cared about us when we were children. And so let's stay focused. Let's support the equipment 10 plus 2. And let's support voters' rights. So our children will have a right to cast their ballot in the ballot box in the United States of America. This is kvci.blogspot.com on YouTube. Oh yeah, you can go to YouTube and get the same information. Just go to YouTube, Boston GBR. Now welcome to the march as we march for our children and coming generations of children. Peace.